Mindia. Mind of India. Tusks define the personality of an elephant. If you look at all the ancestral forms of elephants in the evolutionary record, both male and female elephants have had tusks. And in some instances, they have had extremely long tusks. When you look at Asian elephants today, you find that female Asian elephants do not have tusks. And this is fairly unusual as far as an elephant is concerned. Because practically in all forms of ancestral elephants, both male and female elephants have had tusks. So the key question is, why is it that the female Asian elephants do not have tusks? At the same time, if you look at male Asian elephants, you find that, as in southern India, more than 80 or 90 percent of the male elephants have tusks. You go to northeast India, for instance, you find that only 50 percent of the males have tusks. And if you go to Sri Lanka, more than 90 percent of the males do not have tusks. So why is it that male Asian elephants have also started losing tusks? What are the selection pressures? What are perhaps the human-induced factors that have caused the loss of tusks in Asian elephants, both among females and among male elephants? This is what we are trying to investigate. Ancestors of the Asian elephant actually evolved in Africa and uh, migrated to Asia about three million years ago. You had the land bridges that connected Africa to Asia. In the region of the Middle East, essentially that's where you have the land bridge. And uh, they migrated during a time period, maybe there was a climatic upheaval in Africa or whatever. And therefore, uh, elephas, the genus elephas, they migrated out of Africa into Asia. Since then, the environment has changed, the earth has got cooler, and uh, during these um, geological epochs that we call the Pliocene and the Pleistocene, the earth has gone through several glacial and interglacial cycles. So the earth has been colder, much colder than today, and it has also been somewhat warmer than uh, at present. So during very cold periods, there is a resource crunch. Rainfall is much lower, and therefore the amount of uh, resources available to herbivores, including large mammals like elephants, are significantly reduced. During the, such periods, you know, it becomes very expensive physiologically for a female elephant to put in resources into maintaining tusks. This is a family group. Um, this is a, the basic unit of elephant society in which you have two, two uh, sisters, um, two older females, and the rest of them are, are their children. So this is a family of about five elephants. And uh, this is a pretty typical of uh, elephant society that, you know, you typically get families of about four or five or six individuals. So what we strongly suspect is that during one of these glacial periods, it is very well possible that because of a very serious resource crunch, it became more profitable for uh, Asian female elephants not to put in energy and resources into the growth of tusks, but pro probably into you know, reproducing. And therefore, uh, the tusks were selected against. As a process of natural selection, the female Asian elephants lost the tusks. But we still do not know precisely when this event happened. No, female Asian elephants don't have tusks, so they have lost their tusks. So the question is, what about the male Asian elephant? And I think the answer is slightly different. In the sense that, if you look at the history of uh, the elephant-human relationship in Asia over the past several thousand years, the kings have always captured elephants in large numbers for use in their armies. And if you read uh, ancient documents like the Kautilya Arthasastra, it prescribes that a king has to capture a 20-year-old male tusked elephant. Because 
This is the best elephant that can be used as an instrument of war. And therefore, what I strongly suspect is that in the northern part of the country, that uh, over a period of several centuries or even millennia, that the kings went out and selectively captured the tusked male elephant. And therefore, the genes that code for tusks, expression of tusks in the male elephant, have been lost or reduced over a period of time. And that same phenomenon has not happened to the same extent because the captures of elephants by the southern kingdoms was at a much lower level. And therefore, uh, a much larger proportion of the males in southern India have had tusks. At the same time, the tusks of a male elephant attract the attention of the ivory poachers. And these males are selectively killed for their ivory. Therefore, there is also human selection against tusks in elephants to operating today. You will find that about 1 in 10 elephants that you see among the male elephants are tuskless forms. These are called makanas. And the frequency of these makanas are much higher in the northeast of the country, where almost 50% of these males do not have tusks. While in the south, the proportion of makanas has historically been quite low. It's been less than 5%. But now with the ivory poaching during the 1980s and 1990s, the frequency of the makanas has actually increased to possibly about 20 or 25% of the population. But eventually, I think uh, the most interesting uh, research will come by searching for what are the genes that specifically code for the expression of tusks in elephants. You know, both African elephants and Asian elephants, both the females and the males. And for that, uh, we need to uh, do the full genome sequencing of Asian elephants and African elephants. And then from there, look for possible candidate genes that could code for the expression of tusks, which are teeth, you know. They are upper incisors of the, of the elephants. And therefore, we need to uh, search for, for these genes. And that's the next phase of research that we are getting into. The question then is, would eventually the gene for tusks disappear from the population entirely? The elephant as a species would still survive, but maybe over a period of many, many generations, the tusked male elephant would become extinct. And they would be replaced entirely by the tuskless male or the makanas. To some purists, this might sound like heresy. After all, what is an elephant without its tusks? My India. Mind of India.